Well, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some early Brigitte gameplay. I'm not really a pro Brigitte, but I'm having some ideas on how to play her, and that's what this video is about: how to play Brigitte, who to avoid, and just basically how to have a, a basic standard playstyle for Brigitte that's not at yet pro levels, but you're not going to be a noob and just suck at everything. It's just a basic idea on how to play the new hero, Brigitte. So, with Brigitte, she is a frontline healer. Now, just like all the other healers, they have their different playstyles. Ana tends to stay in the very back, and she tries to snipe people off, or she kind of mixes in in the middle if you want to hit fire. Zenyatta tries to stay within, like, the middle to the back. Lucio has to move with the team, and Mercy's, like, all over the place. And then Moira, she's kind of like a mixture of the middle and the front line, so she can heal in the middle and then go to the front line and suck the life out of the energy and all that stuff. But with Brigitte, she's, she's specifically a front line healer, and she is not a tank. And she is not a healer. She is a hybrid tank and healer. Do not use Brigitte to solo heal. It's not going to work. And do not use Brigitte as a solo tank. She needs another tank. She, yeah, she has a barrier. Yeah, the barrier does have 600 health. But if you think about it, so does Winston's. Winston's barrier has 600 health, and you see how fast that thing goes down. Granted, it's massive and is an easy target, but it still goes down really, really quickly. That's the same thing with Brigitte's shield. It only has 600 health, and it's just not... She, she's just not a good solo tank. She pairs very, very well with Reinhardt, and you guys can easily juggle back and forth between who's on the front lines. You know, Brigitte gets some cheap shots, Brigitte charges forward, bashes people and all that, while Reinhardt quickly follow, follows up and so on. So you can actually juggle with Brigitte and Reinhardt. They are a really, really good pair. I would actually suggest, as I said, Reinhardt to be the main tank if you're going to play Brigitte. And as far as I've, I've been seeing, she pairs very well with Lucio. And the reason I say this is because Lucio has the speed boost, and he also has healing, which can also pair with Brigitte's healing. So it's like Lucio can actually control where the team moves and how fast they get there. And on top of Brigitte pairing up with Reinhardt, you would have a really, really dangerous combo of basically a fast, big ball of death that's just whizzing around all over the place. And, um, how to get heals. In order for her to do any kind of healing, it's very similar to Lucio's healing, you gotta be near her. And, um, in order for her to actually activate this healing is she has to be doing damage. So every time Brigitte is doing damage, if you're near her, you will be getting healed. And same thing with Brigitte. If she's doing damage, she will be healing herself. And uh, she also has a little armor pack that she can throw, very similar to Zenyatta's orb that he throws on the teammates, and it heals 150 health, and it's on a 10 second cooldown, so don't abuse it. And on top of that, if they're at full health and you throw the thing at them, I think it's going to give them, I think, 75 armor, which is basically like getting armor from Torbjorn. But again, it's on a 100, the 100 second, good lord, it's on, <laughs> it's, on, it's on a 10 second cooldown, so, you know, don't abuse it, and only use it when it's needed. Like, if Reinhardt's going to dive in there, you know, armor him really quick, and so on. If somebody's about to die, like, your mercy's really low, or or maybe, oh, don't heal mercy, each other in need it. But, like, if your soldier and McCree's really low, you know, then throw it at McCree or so on, but don't... Don't abuse it, because as I said, it's on a 10 second cooldown. Now, for her standard melee attack, it only does 30 damage per swing. And the range on it is about as as long as Reinhardt's range. I say it's just slightly longer, not much. But again, it's much, much weaker than Reinhardt's. And sh again, because she's not a solo tank, you can't just dive into the battlefield and start swinging around with Brigitte. She will get killed. Even if while swinging she's self-healing, it's just not fast enough. The same rate Lucio self-heals himself is the same way Brigitte heals herself. It's just not enough to sustain a whole bunch of damage. So for her ultimate, um, her ultimate, I'm not even too sure what it's called, Rally, I think it is. And what it basically does is very similar to Lucio's drop the beat. Lucio activates it, you get a ton of health, and Lucio, I think he gives you 500 health extra. With Brigitte, it's 300 armor that slowly regenerates over time and caps at 150. So basically, she activates it, you slowly start climbing to 150 health. Once you reach that, but once you reach that 150 health peak, it stops. And then once you lose uh, some armor, it just keeps regenerating until 150, because that's where it peaks, until you technically wasted all 300, which you had in reserve. So, uh, one really cool thing about Brigitte's ultimate is when you ultimate, the armor that you get from her ultimate will stay on your person until you die. The armor that she throws at you with that little health pack thing that she throws at teammates, that will not stay on you. It will disappear over time. And uh, you can actually combo Lucio's drop to beat with Brigitte's um, ultimate. I, I keep forgetting what this girl's ultimate is called. 
<laughs> you can combo Lucio's drop the beat with Brigitte's rally alongside throwing a couple armor packs at people and so on, and you would have an insanely powerful tank, but just keep in mind, it's not really going to last forever because Lucio's drop the beat does deplete over time, and so does the throwing armor packs, so eventually you're not going to be as tanky as you used to be, so just keep that in mind. When to activate her ultimate? This is actually a really, really tricky question. People tend to activate it when they're about to jump into a team fight. People tend to activate it before the enemies jump on them because, as I said, you keep the armor you get. And I actually see, like, those are basically the two best ways to use her ultimate. If you feel like a big team fight is about to come, activate your ultimate and just wait for them to dive on you because you're going to have this, oh, basically a big, giant, I can't talk. You're going to have this whole ton of health. And if you're about to jump onto the enemies, you know, do the same thing. Activate your ultimate just like Lucio drops a beat and go on an attack. Now, one cool thing about Brigitte's ultimate is it can be activated while she's holding her shield out. And when she activates her ultimate, she will get a slight speed boost. She will be the only one who gets that slight speed boost when her ultimate is activated. Now, Brigitte's strengths are basically just like Reinhardt. You don't want to have a Genji and dive on her because basically diving on Brigitte's just like diving on Reinhardt and all that stuff. She can easily be countered by the same counters as Reinhardt is, like a Bastion, a Farah, a Tracer. Uh, Widowmaker is at long range, as Hanzo's at long range, basically as long as you keep away from her and you're doing a high damage output, there's not really much she can do. The only threat that Brigitte has for these long range fights is that whip shot, but it does have some knockback, so be careful, she can actually use it to knock you off ledges. But other than the slight knockback and relatively low damage, it's not really something to be worried about if you're trying to engage her at long ranges. And who she's strong against, as I said, you don't want to really dive on her with a Genji because she will just beat the crap out of you. And she's basically everybody that Reinhardt can beat, she can beat, aside from the tanks. Because, as I said, you know, Brigitte, she just isn't a tank, so she can't compete with other tanks. You know, Reinhardt can actually put up a fight against D.Va, Reinhardt can actually put up a fight against Roadhog, Brigitte can't. Brigitte gets slaughtered by Roadhog, and she puts up kind of a little fight against D.Va, but D.Va's damage output is just way too high, and it just chews through her health way too fast. So, I would say Brigitte is strong against basically small divers like Genji, maybe a Reaper. Yeah, but Brigitte can actually beat Reaper. Um, she beats, you know, McCree, she beats Soldier. It's just like basically, uh standard characters who you don't want to be messing with when you got that barrier up. You know, that, that's basically the kind of people that Brigitte can engage. To just keep in mind, as I just keep saying this because I see this happening all the time, she is not a main solo healer, and she is not a main solo tank. If you see a Brigitte on your team, that doesn't mean you don't need a healer. You still need it, even if it's a Zenyatta. You still need a healer, and even if you see a Brigitte, you need some kind of tank on your team because she cannot do both jobs by herself. She can't even do one job by herself. She always needs to help from another tank and another healer. And one more thing, if you guys notice, I tend to stick around Reinhardt, but when Reinhardt isn't here, a really good gameplay for Brigitte is like peeking off corners and treating her as if you're using the Riot Shield from Modern Warfare 2. You want to kind of like scare people off, because obviously you don't want to be close to Brigitte. You want to like peek off of corners or peek off of like side areas and kind of like move forward and kind of just scare the enemies from coming back. Of course, it depends on who it is, because if it's a Roadhog, he's going to continue walking because he's going to slaughter you. So just, you, you want to play Brigitte as like a little intimidation factor while you're waiting for, let's say, Reinhardt to get back from spawn, or if Reinhardt's doing his own thing and you can't get to him in time, just use Brigitte as kind of like an, an intimidation kind of character. You know, say, oh, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna bash you with my shield, you better get back! And, you know, that'll actually push them back a little bit, again, depending on who it is. And besides that, I think she's a really, really reliable hero. She's not OP, you know, her damage output's fairly low. Um, her healing isn't really that great. She's, she relies a lot on armor. And uh, even when she does rely a lot on armor, you know, it just takes a lot of gunfire from a powerful weapon like Reaper to just quickly deplete that kind of armor. So, she's not really OP. She, she is sustainable on the battlefield. She's not difficult to kill despite her constantly getting health and armor because, as again, just take an easy counter like a Junkrat and she cannot do a single thing. So she is, she's a really good hero. I don't think she's underpowered. I don't think she's overpowered. And let me know what you guys think about Brigitte in the comment section below. Have you played her before? Is she going to be one of your mains? I actually think I'm probably going to main her. So at the moment, I'm maining D.Va, then I have Sombra, Arissa, May, Moira, Zenyatta, and well, I can add Brigitte to that list. So if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevantosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.